Hi, my name is Brayden, or K3DW on the Twisty Puzzle Forum, and today I have an incredible puzzle to present. But first, I'd like to ask a question. So, have you ever picked up a cube? And you know, you're playing with it. I'm not a speed cuber, so I don't really know how to do the fancy moves, but I do have a cube. Have you ever played with a cube, turned, um, turned a grip halfway, and then thought, hmm, wouldn't it be cool if I could exchange these two pieces? I know I have, and I know that a lot of people uh, a lot of people have. Um, so back in January, um, on the forum, somebody suggested this idea publicly. I'd never actually heard anybody talking about it before. I'd only just thought of it myself. And so I thought, okay, I'll make a mock-up of this puzzle. I'll see if I can do it. See if I can make a skew where you can actually turn these corners. Um, it took me a while um, to get around to it and then uh, to get it printed and then... Um, my friend John, who is Quicksolver on the forum, he took this to Paris with him uh, for IPP. Um, so it's been a very long time since January, but now I would finally like to present this puzzle fully finished. This is my Weird Scube. Um, it's called the Weird Scube after Matt N's uh, Weird 5x5 and Weird 11x11. Um, and I take weird to mean that it's a puzzle that has moves that looks like they shouldn't be possible, but they are possible. So of course it does turn like a normal skew, it turns incredibly well. Um, if I scramble this too much I won't be able to solve it. Um, so it turns like a normal skew, but if you do make um, half of a turn and line up the corners so they're next to each other... Oops, this one's a little stiff. They can change places. These corners can change places. Um, so kind of it. I don't really have uh, much more to talk about here. It's kind of, it's quite a simple puzzle, um, but I don't think it's ever been made before. Um, there are quite a few more pieces in this puzzle uh, than it looks. On the outside, it looks like there are 14, as there are on the cube, um, 15 if you include the core. But on this puzzle, there are actually many more pieces than that. So if I pop off a corner cap here, every single one of these corners is a cap. If I pop one off, they're kind of stiff. Um, you'll actually see here, this is the part that the corner goes on to. Um, I'll show you the inside here. That's what it looks like. So it goes on there, it sticks on there, but then underneath, these sort of act as centerpieces almost, um, and then these sort of act as pedals in there. Um, I think of it almost like a curvy copter design. That I designed it similarly to how, let me just grab um, my uh, combo copter plus here. Um, I, I designed this similarly to how I designed my combo copter plus. Um, and I think on the inside it looks quite a bit the same. So these right here, these tiny little pieces with the holes in them, are these split center pieces right there. So when you actually line, um, when you line up these two right here, if you can see the resemblance between the mechanism. Um, I was thinking it might be possible to make a plus version of this puzzle, but then again, um, that wouldn't really matter uh, because you can't actually um, one sort of face, if you could call it, one corner right here, can't really interact with any other corner um, partway through a turn, whereas on the Combo Copter Plus, um, on the Combo Copter Plus you can do things like like this, you can, you can have two different uh, grips or axes sort of um, interacting with each other. You can't really do that on this puzzle, so I don't really know if a plus version would be possible or feasible. I do think that this puzzle would look really interesting um, if you actually took off the outer corners and just had um, just had the inner pieces exposed. Um, it's almost like Oscar's Christian's cube, almost. Um, but yeah, this is this is my weird cube. I'm let me just pop that on there. Oh, I'm very happy about it. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you very much.